This is the next recording of Billy, the red tailed black cockatoo that is paraplegic at the present moment. Um, Billy um, has on gram stain smears of his throat. He has a massive infection with or, or over, over uh, population with very tiny gram negative rods and in the faeces there are uh, still quite a few bacteria present. The bacteria that are present in the faeces uh, appear to be the normal, normal ones. Um, they, their numbers may be depleted. I am not convinced one way or other about heavy metal poisoning at the moment. I'm, I'm still open to um, the possibility that he may have heavy metal poisoning, but I don't know that he's got heavy metal poisoning. He's certainly um, in a poor state, and my next stage will be to, one, to give him a couple of injections. So let's start by showing you how we can give an injection to a very calmed and very calm and very tame red-tailed black cockatoo. First of all, I would usually have him wrapped in a towel, but I don't need to for this particular birdie. I am just showing you the general location here. So we've got the top of the breastbone here, we've got the bottom of the breastbone here, We've got the pectoral muscles, which are nice and con, con um, vex rounded out at the moment. So I'm just going to part the feathers here and we'll slip in an injection or two down here. So we'll put one on this side, just there, like that. And just, I'm not worrying about drawing back on the syringe or doing anything like that. If the injection goes intravenously, it's not critical. Now, I slide the skin a little bit, and then over on this side, and I'll try and do this so that you can see. Right, just at an angle. As long as I... And just quietly pushing that, and then holding that, and doing that. Right, so that's a couple of injections, um, one being calcinate, and one being metacam, is what we've done. All right, the next step is how do we give a black cockatoo uh, the next step is how we give a black cockatoo drops by mouth basically we have the birdie upright that's the first step yeah. I'm not using a towel this, on this occasion but very usually I would be in towel unless the bird was extremely tame or very sick this little birdie's mouth is partly open anyway so I don't have to force my finger in his mouth or do that, and most people wouldn't want to do that for fear of getting bitten anyway. So, when we're giving him an antibody, um, we start by having his, basically having his head upright, tilting it a little bit over to the side, resting our finger on the top of his top beak, and we're going to run the drops off the side of his beak into his mouth. One, two, three. He doesn't like that, but it's good that he's having a bit of a flutter there. Three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Give him time to swallow. Tilt his head back a little bit, but not over on his back. Nine, ten, eleven. Well, and if I'd had him wrapped in a towel, life would be a bit easier. He wouldn't be flapping. He wouldn't be able to flap. So we're just showing you different aspects of how to do things. And I hope now, just I hope this is helping you. Um, he's still got some of this medication pooled in under his tongue, and it can act as a bit of a disinfectant there but I wanted to see it flow down his mouth. He's cheating, he's saying he'd like to shake his head and just spit it all out at the moment. Okay, mate, yeah, I don't want to be nibbled. See? So, all right, just quietly, just quietly. We just want some of that to run down the back rather than just be pooling there. Okay, well, that's the next step. He's going to receive a whole lot of um, glyconutrient powder made up into a suspension 
that is part of um, his uh, health and well-being support that we'll put him on. So we'll put him on a a, um, a glyconutrient powder, a patent glyconutrient powder that provides a source of all eight essential saccharides for cellular communication, has high antioxidant activity, and we're going to give him a chance. He seems like a hopeless prognosis, but I've learnt to try and to keep going. And we're going to do some physiotherapy. We'll be doing lots of physiotherapy. So how about we show you how we do physiotherapy in the next one.